Hi guys, this is Niall from Aos Gaming TV and I'm here to explain how to easily defeat Igris with this skill setup. If you're wondering why I'm here, I promise to my husband I will do the voiceover once he reached 1000 subs. So thank you for all your support, we deeply appreciate it. And if you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe if you want to see more solo leveling arise content. This will also help the YouTube algorithm suggest our video to more players who need guidance and a little bit of entertainment on their journey. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hell's Gaming TV. The first skill for this build is Multi Strike. This skill has the star rune called Illusion that has a great offense and defensive capability. This skill has a decent amount of damage multiplier while having a medium break effect. This will definitely help you in this instance since Igris often charges off his shield gauge which makes you deal much less damage. Another great thing about this skill is the invincible effect. You can maximize in tight situations where you need to switch your playstyle from offensive to defensive mode. Most of us don't have much survivability since we all pump our stats into strength, agility, and perception. That's why we only rely on our extreme evasion for survival. So having this extra defensive ability will be a big help for you to survive those crucial fights. So next will be Death Dance. This skill has a rune that converts it into a new skill called Eruption. Eruption is arguably one of the best damage skills we can get. It deals a huge amount of damage while being dark elemental and having a heavy break effect. We all know that skills that have a break effect are always great to have as an addition to your skill build since most of the bosses on this game have a shield gauge you need to break to deal more damage. On top of those things, Eruption has this effect where it deals 45% more of damage to bosses and elite monsters. So this skill is really a must have and can be used not only in this full dark build but also for those setups that focus on break skills. Okay, so now that we're done with the scales, let's now proceed with the Blessing Stones. For your Blessing Stones, I highly suggest you use Pulverize. This will increase not just your damage to targets that are affected by the break effect, but also your ability to break a grid shield. So this will definitely be the best Blessing Stone to have in this situation. To be honest, we still don't have the stone yet, but we are able to defeat tier 8 Igris with the use of the second most important blessing stone. And that said blessing stone is the boss slayer. This one increases your damage dealt to boss monsters at the cost of increasing the cooldown of your dash. So this one gives a huge chunk of damage increase, but you will need to be mindful when you're using your dash. That means that the key to maximizing this blessing stones is to keep practicing your dodging skills. For the third slot of your blessing stone, I recommend you use weakness detection. This blessing stone doesn't give that much of a boost of your DPS, but this is still good to have now that we're using a full dark elemental damage build. But if you don't have this one yet, you can still replace it with other damage blessing stones such as the advanced dagger technique, double edge sword, sharp perception, and many more. By the way guys, just a quick tip about these dungeons. Be sure to clear them with 3 stars since there will be a buff effect that increases your damage by 50% and decreases your damage taken by 50% when you fully clear them. This will really be a great help when you try to farm this dungeon the next day. So be sure to aim for 3 stars when you clear it. So that's it! I hope I was able to help you know more about what skill build you will use to clear tier 8 egress in the instance dungeon. You can comment down below if you think I missed some information about our discussion or if you have any suggestion for what we should tackle next. Also, remember to play the game at your own pace, never get burned out, and always have fun. Till next time, peace! <laughs>
Arise. 